All right, I'm back from our quest. We're going to be doing Amber by Demon Arisen. Also, don't mind that. That's, um, I don't know if you ever see that. But anyways, I like the Bioshock font you got going on there. Oh, it appears it's a mono portal map. Was not expecting that. Okay, so that just gets to the next room. That's not actually the end yet. No, portal there. There you go. It's on a timer. Why is that on a timer? Okay. I was not expecting that. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Would help if I did something like this. And then just set it on the button. Right? No. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Getting confused already. Why? It's not even that difficult. Oh, that's why the timer's there, because I, I need to go back press it, run through, and get my blue portal down at the end. That's what, that's why, okay. There we go. See, at the beginning, I was very confused as to why you did that, but now it makes total sense to me. Thank you for introducing that in a smaller puzzle for this main puzzle. Wish more people did that with their maps. Trying to figure out where our orange portal is. Let's have a look. There's a funnel there. Appears I can go this way. It also flings me up to press that, which drops both cubes. Are they on the separate time timers? I don't know. Or is there two buttons there? There's only one. Hmm, okay. Yeah, jumping wasn't wouldn't do anything for me there. I have to lift myself up and then somehow get across. What's up there? I don't think I even looked over there. Oh, is that how I jump over? No. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> it makes so much more sense. Let's test. Are they on the same amount of timers, or are they different? That's pretty long, actually. Gives me a lot of time to go back and forth. Which is probably to go up there, and then put the portal there, fling over. Oh, it dies. Okay. I was not expecting that. So you press this, run over, go back up there. Blue portal. There is a portal there, right? Yes. I wasn't imagining things. We blue portal there, fling over, and we do something else. To what yet? I have no idea. Let's go try that. Is there even enough time to get over there? Not really. Okay, well that one drops by itself. I mean... You know what I'm trying to say. That one drops quicker than the others. Okay, so that gets shut off. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how I can get back over there. To grab that cube to bring through here, possibly. Because I'm assuming I have to get that cube down onto this button. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Cause this gives me a funnel, right? Oh, and then we just drop it there. And then I'm not on a timer to rush over and grab it. Then I can set it on there. Okay, okay, hold on. Now we're making some progress here. I gotta get back over there. So I guess all I really have to do is just press it, move that over here and stand here, right? I should catch that in the, in the funnel, right? Seems about almost centered. So once that comes through, we're going to let it drop. Like that. And now we're going to go over and fling ourselves like we were before. So this time we take this cube, set it here. Now this is off. Now I would do 
Okay, I can't see that from that angle. Do I have to time and grab that cube? Because I can't push the funnel forward. There's only one thing to it. Okay, you know what I think I have to do? I should have been saying this out loud, but I have one of the moments where I'm sitting in silence. I was thinking to myself, what is the point of this if all I had to do was just fling over and put this on the button? What would be the point of having a second cube? So I thought about it, and I realized I have to put the funnel here, drag them both through, so I could place one here, I'm guessing, which would be that one. Would it really matter, though? I guess it wouldn't matter which one gets placed there. So if I place one there, that funnel's on. We keep the funnel. If I can keep the funnel and go all the way up, and if I press the button, I could somehow be able to fling over there while it's on a timer and catch that cube as it's dropping. I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly. But, uh, you know, I'll experiment. I'm going to do a quick save. I don't know why, but just in case I mess this up. If I press this, do that, stand on this, let them come through. Both of them, that is. And then... Probably just portal there, actually. To grab both of them. Once I step off this. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter which one, because they're both on the same amount of timer. Don't you go through there. No. Stop. Did I have to take... Okay, hold on. Okay, let's say... I press the button. That starts the timer. And I have my orange... My orange. As if I could use another portal than blue. If I have my blue portal there... Okay. The clock runs down. They drop. This one goes in through quickly. Hurry up and switch it to this one. As the other one gets across, and I can drag it through, let it drop down. Put it on the button. Meanwhile, I can go grab the other cube that's up in there, take it, set it here. And then I could go up. Have that there, but then how would I get rid of this? Damn, that's confusing. Hey, I did it. I don't know how I timed that right. Usually I mess that sort of thing up. Don't go into the fizzler. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the other cube. Oh, you dummy. <laughs> Why didn't you just switch the portal? I didn't think that far ahead. Okay, this time, put that here. So I can catch this. Perfect. Wow, that was really close. So now I jump over. Like usual. Put that cube on the button. Like this. Not really. There we go, it worked that time. So now we're at this point again. And then we have both cubes. So what I'm thinking... Is I go back over... Stand there, I'm gonna quick save. Once I get over there. Press the button. Jump off, put that there. Put the blue one there. Go up, because it's gonna kill the cube. And I just have to grab it on the way over. There we go. Simple as that. Not as simple as I thought it was gonna be, but... Simple. Okay, we press this. Portal there. Put this in. Go up, hopefully, high enough to grab that on their way through. Damn. There we go. That took uh, three tries. Not the cleanest ending I've seen. So with that, I'll give it a seven. I would have bumped it up to like a 7.5 or an 8, but since that ending move was a little off, 
then you would have to go and do everything over again. I have to bump that down slightly. But it gets a thumbs up nonetheless. I'm done for today, and I will see you next time.